A viewfinder is a tool used to limit and define what you're looking at. It is a visual framing device to help organize a composition. It imposes a shape, a boundary around whatever you want to view or draw. It allows you to frame your subject the same way you frame objects and people when you look into a camera. First we will choose a cardstock to work on. Then what we're going to do is we're going to draw an X down the center of the viewfinder and we're going to find the center and draw a proportional rectangle that's similar to our drawing paper. Then we're going to cut out the rectangle with our utility blade so that we can use this device as a viewfinder. So these are the supplies you're going to need. You're going to need a ruler and you're going to need an X-Acto blade or a utility blade if you don't have an X-Acto blade. You're going to need a pencil, a sharpened pencil, and an eraser. You're also going to need some cardstock. I prefer you guys to work on a 5x7 cardstock, and it should be a thicker paper, something that's a little thicker, not so floppy, so when you hold it up, it doesn't bend over. And here are two different cards, a 4x6 inch card here. That's another size that is easy to find. Um, and here is a sheet of paper that's been divided into four, an 85 by 11 piece of paper that's been divided by four. And each side should measure as 5.5 by 4.25. So that's a good way to get a quarter sheet. That's close to a four by six. But I'm gonna really prefer you guys to work on your five by seven. And that's what we're gonna start on. The first thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna take our ruler and we're gonna draw an X from corner to corner. We're gonna use our pencil. And just make sure you get it as precise as you can. Then we're gonna flip the paper over and we're gonna draw our other corner to corner. Again, line that up as best as you can. Then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna draw a two inch line that joins the width part of the X. And then on the sides, we're gonna make a 1.5 uh, inch mark. And do your best just to make it as straight as possible. So we're at a right angle. And then we're going to finish off the final uh, part of our box again with a two inch mark. And that should be the box that we would make for our viewfinder. Now after we're done what we're going to do is we're going to take our utility blade or our X-Acto knife and we're going to cut this square out. You can see I'm trying to be as precise as possible. And line up that ruler to that edge as close as possible. And hold your ruler at the top and pull away from your hand so that you're not going into your hand. And this way you get a good strong cut, but you're not cutting towards your hand. That's super important. I'm also working on a piece of cardboard here so that I'm not cutting into my table. I'm just using the back of a sketch pad, which is completely appropriate. Once you're done with that, you can just pull out that square and there should be your viewfinder. Now, I noticed it was a little uh, crooked on one corner there, so I decided to clean it up. Again, pulling away from your hand so that you're not going into your fingers. And there we go. That is our final viewfinder. Another way to do this is by um, folding your paper in half. Now I'm going to show you on the 4.25 by 5.5. I've already made the square in the center. And you can fold the piece of paper in half. This is an easy way 
to get the center cut out and just use scissors and then just cut along the sides and then we're going to cut that last little piece out and there are your viewfinders we have our 5 by 7 and our 5.5 by 4.25. Um, just remember to have all your supplies, your pencil, your utility blade, your eraser, your scissors, and your ruler. Good luck.